Hey, uh, Google, please stop. Please just f***ing stop. If I can credit the internet for anything, it would be its innate ability to bandwagon on things that usually don't deserve it. The hate train is easy to jump on and get completely washed away in. However, every once in a blue moon, an internet backlash is completely warranted. Case in point, what Google have just done with Google Plus's integration into YouTube. Ever since Google purchased YouTube, they arguably have been making it worse. And worse. And worse. And worse. So to be honest, this horrible decision to combine the two web entities does not surprise me in the least. And that's a shame, because YouTube, as well as being a breeding ground for, well, for f***ing shite, is also a cesspool of creativity and originality. But Google do not seem to be interested in the latter at all. They seem completely blind to what people actually want to see improve in the website. YouTube is not a perfect website by any means whatsoever. In fact, when you break it down, it is actually pretty terrible. I don't want to be one of those people who always live in the past and say that the old stuff was always better, but the old YouTube was definitely a more coherent and an overall better website. You would think a juggernaut such as Google would understand the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't f***ing fix it. Don't get me wrong, YouTube needed changes, but the way they've gone about it is so completely, mind-bafflingly idiotic in the most primitive meaning of the word. And it amazes me that Google did not try to get the website working at least a little bit more logically before clumsily shoving in Google+, because all it did was make it three times more atrocious. The interface as it is now is clumsy, pointlessly confusing, and just badly designed. So let's take a second to break down the main points with what this Google Plus update has done to YouTube. So, from what I understand, you now have to have a Google Plus account to be able to access all the features of YouTube. This means that anything you share on Google Plus will be linked in with its related video in the comments section, and you'll get notifications when someone comments or shares your videos. This now also means that YouTube comments do not have the ridiculous 500 character limit, as well as allowing you to post links to other websites. So what is bad about this, do I hear you say? Well, starting with the comments, two groups of people are to blame for what happened. Group 1. Google. For their moronic, sudden implementation, seemingly without any kind of feedback from the community before forcing it upon all of us. And Group 2. You. And by you, I mean all of us, the people who use YouTube. I mentioned earlier that people like to bandwagon, and that is certainly what happened when the update was released. I also mentioned that it was warranted, because this whole mess was handled so badly. However, posting a f***ing picture of a stick man with a tank is not going to change a f***ing thing. When we were presented with this update, we had two real extreme options of how we could react. On one hand, we all could have said, okay, this was handled very poorly, but on the plus side, at least now we can have real discussions and use the comment system to relay helpful websites and links to one another. On the other hand, we could have all lost our minds and in a pure, blinding rage made everything worse by taking it all out of proportion by posting offensive and childish responses all over YouTube as a way to try and get Google to take back the mistake they made. And of course, this is the internet. We all know what extreme did happen. We all know people lost their minds. We all know it was blown completely out of proportion. And within seconds of the update going live, there were ASCII images of naked ladies, genitals, Hitler, swastikas, pedo bears, and quite possibly worst of all, Bob. People have this strange idea that posting a little picture of a tank with a stick man is what you need to do to prove your distaste for the new update. Whatever you say, internet. Whatever you f***ing say. There are even multiple petitions on change.org to try and get them to change it back. This one has 200,000 signatures. Not that petitions do anything anyway. So after all the absolute craziness that ensued after the update launched, what did Google do to try and calm us all down? Well, the only logical thing they could have done was to make the like bar blue instead of green. For no f***ing reason. For absolutely no f***ing reason, they randomly change the like bar to blue. That's it. That's all they f***ing do. They don't try to fix the fact that comments before the update are now completely dormant and you can't reply to them. They don't fix the fact that the Google Plus notification system is completely broken. They don't try and make it so the page actually fits properly to my screen. They don't try and fix the fact that time links in the comment section open the video again in a new tab. 
and they don't try and fix their automatic spam filter that totally doesn't work. And you want to know why? Because every single one of us continues to use YouTube. If every one of us packed up and just said, okay YouTube, I'm done with this shit. I've had enough. If a large amount of people migrated away to another site, they would certainly pay attention because quite simply, they'd be losing out on a substantial amount of income. They have us all in the palm of their hands and nothing is going to change that until someone competent decides to completely overhaul YouTube and actually improve it or until someone comes up with an alternate website that is just as useful as YouTube. So ending points. Google have no idea how to handle YouTube and nothing is going to change that until we all leave the site, which is not going to happen, or they put someone with a brain in charge of it, which is probably also not going to happen. So please, please Google, prove me wrong. Prove. Me. Wrong. Just a friendly end of video reminder to take a gander over to my Facebook page, where I post frequent updates about whatever I'm doing next. I also now have another channel where me and a couple of other dudes review games and movies and have other general discussions about media. Thanks for watching. Bye.